Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part six of the same topic. So now we are going to see the innings 8.2. We'll continue with this. We have already done five questions. So this is the sixth one. So here it says that a number consists of a two digits whose sum is eight. So if 18 is added to the number, the digits interchange their places. Find the number. So it is a two digit number. So what we can do, the number, we don't know the number. So let we can say, so you know this is the unit place and this is the tens place. So this tens place, now let us consider the tens digit is x. So unit digit is going to be, because when you take the sum of that, that is going to be, a sum is a so the tens digit is x so this will be the unit digit is going to be 8 minus x so unit digit will be 8 minus x so the number is going to be see here when there is this tens and this one so this is x and this will be 8 minus x so unit digit means this is the ones place so you are going to multiply this by 1 and this you are going to multiply by 10 so what will you get here? This will get 10x and this multiplied by 1 means you are going to get the same number. So the number is going to be 10x plus 8 minus x. So when you just we will remove the bracket. So because here this plus it is going to be the same one. So this is going to be 10x plus 8 minus x as it is. So if you are bring, going to bring the like terms together. So 10x minus x is going to be 9x and this is going to be plus 8. So the number is going to be 9x plus 8. So now what did they say here? If 18 is added to the number, the digits interchange their places. So if we are the number formed by interchanging the digits. So what will be that? First thing, this tens place was x and this is unit place x minus, uh, sorry, 8 minus x. So if you are interchanging the digits means in the place of 10 digit, this will go here and this will be here. So what will be there here? So now let me write here. So this is tens and units place. And if you are interchanging, so 8, mi 8 minus x will go here in the tens place. And here we are going to get x in the units place. So now what will be there? This is going to multiply by 1. And this is going to get multiplied by 10. So it will be 10 into 8 minus x. And this will be plus x will be the number after interchanging. Hope this is clear to you. If you are interchanging it, how it's going to be. So this is going to get multiplied by 10. So it will be 10 into 8 minus x. And this is going to be x into 1. That is going to be x. So that is what I have written here. 10 into 8 minus x plus x. So when you expand this one, so it is going to be 80 minus 10x plus x. So that will be here minus 10 plus 1. So my minus 9x. And this will be 80 plus 80. So now what is that according to the equation that they said 18 is added. So if we are going to add to this one 9x plus 8 plus 18. So what did they say 18 is added to the number. So the number was this one. So for this one if you are adding 18. So what is that? The digits interchange the places. So what was the digit we got after interchanging the places? This minus 9x plus 80. So here 9x, this is going to be 8 plus 18, that is going to be 26. And this the same. So now when you bring this one, this side, so 9x plus 9x, because this is minus x. So that is going to be 80 is on its place, right hand side, plus 26 is going to be minus 26. So this 18x is going to be 54 when you subtract this one. So x is going to be this 54, this is multiplication, so divided by 18, so this will be 3, so x is 3. So now, what did they ask here? To find the number, so that is the x is 3. So now, we have the number, what was the number? 9x plus 8. So we'll put 3 in place of this 9x plus 8. Let us put 3 plus 8, that will be 9, these are 27 plus 8, that is the number is going to be 35. Now here, the three numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 7. And if the sum of the largest 
and the smallest number is 72 more than the third number and we have to find the number so we, let us consider the three numbers as here we'll put here x here 5x and here will be 7x so 4x 5x and 7x so which is the largest number what did they say largest and the smallest largest is 7x and the smallest is 4x so largest for sum sum of that one both of them so you are going to add this one is is means is equal to 72 more than the third number so third number will be 5x which is left so that will be 5x plus more means you are going to add 72 it to it so this will be 7x plus 4x this comes here means it is going to be minus 5x and 72 is on the right hand side so when we this will be 11x minus 5x means that is going to be 6x so 6x is 72 so x is going to be this is multiplication so this is going to get divided so here will be 12 6 is 72 so x is 12 so now find the numbers numbers means in this places we have to write put the value of x as 12 and you have to find find it so 4x is going to be 4 into 12 that will be 48 5x will be 5 into 12 that will be 60 and this 7x is 7 into 12 that will be 84 so these three are the numbers so the numbers are 48 60 and 84 so this is the answer now here they said two cars start from the same place but in opposite direction they are starting from the same place but they are in the opposite direction the speeds are 50 km per hour and 65 km per hour respectively after how long will they be 34 km apart? So now 345 km apart. So now let us take the, let T be the time taken. So now what is the time given here? This is 50 km per hour and this is 65. So we can write the 50 T plus 65 T and that is here 345 km. So here we will write here. 345 so when you add this that will be 115 t is equal to 345 so now what will be t here so this t is going to be 345 divided by 115 so this will be so t when you divide this one you get 3 115 3 is a, that will be 345 so t is 3 hours so it will take 3 hours for them to be you can say 345 kilometers apart Now here, Sahil rides his bicycle at the speed of 15 km per hour and this is, uh, reaches school late by 2 minutes. On increasing the speed by 5 km per hour, he reaches 8 minutes early. First he is going with the speed of 15 km, then he is increasing the speed by 5 km, so but that at that time he is reaching 8 minutes early. So 15 and this will be 20. Now let's see, find the distance between the school and his house. So now we will consider the distance that uh, d be the distance and t be the time. So two for two minutes, late by two minutes means here two minutes means we have we will um, convert this into hours first. So this will be two, you know, one hour is sixty minutes. So two minutes is going to be when you cross multiply here. So that will be two divided by sixty. So this will be two ones are two thirties are that will be one by thirty hours because we converted these two minutes to hours now here what happens here on increasing speed by 5 km per hour first it was 15 km per hour that is increasing by 5 km means 15 plus 5 that is going to be 20 km per hour so what is that now let us convert this one 8 minutes so 8 minutes is going to be how much again we are going to do 8 divided by 60 means this goes with 4 so 8 divided by 60 both go with 4 means that if here is 4 so that will be 2 divided by 15, 15 for the 60. So that will be 2 by 15 hours. So now here, first now we will say that riding at 15 km per hour means time taken is how much? The t plus it is extra here will be 1, one by 30 that is hours. And here riding at 20 km per hour means time taken will be what? t minus here because it is 2 by 15 so because it is 8 minutes means here 
t minus 2 by 15 hours. Now what is there? You have to take, you know, the form, this one, the formula for this speed is distance by time. So now see here, how to remember this formula. This is d by t. So d by t means you can just say, okay, take the word detergent, d, e, t, e, r, g, n, t, because many of them get confused over here with this formula. So here it starts with d and ends with t. So here we can say d by t or you can make any other word to remember this formula because there is many times confusion in this formula. So now the speed was first was 15 and we don't know the distance. So distance is here and the time for 15 kilometer it was t plus 1 by 30. So t plus 1 by 30. So this is our equation number 1. So now again for speed is equal to distance but we will take for this one for 20 kilometer this one in place of this speed we like 20 and this distance is d and this is time is t minus 2 by 15. So this is the equation number 2. So now since distance for this both the distance is same only the time changes. So what will we do since distance remains the same. So see a distance is same here. So 15 into this one t plus 1 by 30 is equal to 20 into when you multiply this when you cross this part. So 20 into t minus 2 by 15. So this is what is written here. So now what will you do here? 15 t plus 15 into 1 by 30 means 15 by 30 that is here. Then here again 20 t minus here 20 into 2 means 40 by 15. This is here. So now bring the like terms together 15 t minus 2 here 20 t is equal to minus 40 t as it is and plus 15 t will go on the other side that is going to be minus 15 by 30. So here 15 minus 20 minus 20 plus 15 that is going to be minus 5. So that is minus 5 t and here it's going to be minus 40 minus 15 that will be minus here sorry but the, here we cannot do uh, directly here. First we have to take the LCM. LCM is 30. 15 twos are 30. So here minus 40 into 2 divided by 15 into 2 you minus 15 by this one. So minus 5 t is going to be minus 80 minus 15 by 30. So minus 5 t will be minus 95 by 30. So t is going to be minus 30, 95 by 30 into that will be 1 by minus 5. So here will be 5 ones are 5 19 za. So t is going to be minus minus becomes plus. So that will be 19 by 30. So here putting this value 19 by 30 in equation number 1. So what is that? So we are going to put here in place of this t, we will put 19 by 30. So that is what is written, same thing over here. 15 into, this is equation 1. So in place of this t, you will put 19 by 30, and this 1 by 30 is as it is. So this 15, so 19 plus 1 is going to be because the denominator is the same, 20 by 30. So this is actually multiplication, 15 ones are 15, 2s are 30, and 2 ones are 2 tens are. So that will be 10 kilometer because this will be 10. So we can say the distance between the school and his house is 10 kilometer. Now here, by selling a table for rupees 4,500, a shopkeeper gains one third of its cost price. And you have to find the cost price. So what will you do? Let's CP means the cost price of table BX. So now they said 4,500, uh, Stop to pay against one third of its cost. So for 4,500 is equal to gains one third means from this one x plus 1 by 3x, one third of its cost price. So this way we have to write here x plus 1 by 3x because the cost price is x and again he gains one third in the additional to that one. So x plus 1 by 3. So this will be you will take the LCM of this one that will be 3. So this will be 3x plus 1 into x means that will be x divided by 3. So here what will be that? This is going to be 4x by 3. So when you divide, multiply this one, 4500 into 3 is equal to 4x. So here will be 13500 is equal to 4x. So 13500, this will be divided by 4 is equal to x. So here will be 3375 and you divide and see this number you get 3375 
So x is 3, 3, 7, and then x we are considered as the cost price. So we can say the cost price of the table is rupees 3, 3, 7, 5. That is, they have asked for the cost price. Now here, Ankita's grandfather's age is 4 times her age, and her grandfather is also 42 years older than her. And we have to find the present age of her grandfather. So now when they say like this, they said Ankita's grandfather's age is four times her age means uh, age of the uh, Ankita. So first thing we should know Ankita's age. So we'll consider this Ankita's age as X years. So grandfather will be what? Four times means it is going to be 4X. So grandfather's age will be 4X. So now see here, uh, look at the second sentence. Her grandfather is... Huh? So grandfather how much? 4x. E is means e is equal to 42 years older than her. Means her age is x. You have to add 42 to that. Because he's older than her. So now you will bring this one. So this equation is important here. So 4x, if you bring here, this is plus. So it will become minus x is equal to 42. So 3x is going to be. 42 so x is going to be because this is multiplication so it will be 42 by 3 so this is going to be 14 so x is 14 so what we have considered here Ankita is a x so Ankita here you can also write here as 14 years so she's 14 so father so the grandfather is 4x so that will be 4x will be 4 into 14 that is 56 years and they have asked the present age of grandfather. So we can say present age of grandfather is 56 years. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.